crop production management. In India, farming is done from small scale to large scale. It is the financial conditions or money which allows the farmers to take up different farming methods and technologies. The farmers purchasing capacity for inputs decide the cropping system and production practices. The production practices can be different levels. It includes no cost production. Low cost production. And high cost production. Nutrient management. As we require food for development and growth, the same way plants also require nutrients for growth. Nutrients are supplied to the plants by air, water and soil. There are 16 nutrients which are essential for plants. Air supplies carbon and oxygen, water gives hydrogen and oxygen and soil supplies the other left 13 nutrients to plants. Among these 13 nutrients, 6 are required in large quantities so these nutrients are called macronutrients. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, Calcium, magnesium and sulfur are at macronutrients. The other seven nutrients are used by plants in small quantities. So these nutrients are called micronutrients. Iron, manganese, boron, zinc, copper, molybdenum, and chlorine are called micronutrients. Deficiency of these nutrients affect reproduction, growth and susceptibility to diseases, crop yield in plants. To increase the yield, the soil is enriched by supplying these nutrients in the form of manure and fertilizers. Let us see what are manures and fertilizers. Manure contains large quantities of organic matter and also supplies small quantities of nutrients to the soil. Manure is prepared by the decomposition of animal excreta and plant waste. Manures enrich the soil with nutrients and organic matter and increase the soil fertility. It also increases the water holding capacity in sandy soils and prevents the water logging in clay soil. Manures are of three types based on the biological waste used, compost, Wormy compost, green manure. Compost. The compost is prepared by using form waste material like livestock excreta, plant waste, animal waste, domestic waste and sewage waste in pits. This process is called composting. The compost is rich in organic matter and nutrients.
vermicompost, the compost which is prepared by using the earthworms to fasten the process of decomposition of plants and animal waste. This is called vermicompost. Green manure, before sowing the crop seeds, some plants like sand hemp or guar are grown and then plowed into the soil. These green plants turn into green manure which enriches the soil with nitrogen and phosphorus. Fertilizers Fertilizers are man-made plant nutrients. Fertilizers supply nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium to the plants. They are used to ensure good vegetative growth, giving rise to healthy plants, whereas fertilizers increase the yield of crop in high-cost farming. Fertilizers should be used carefully. Sometimes fertilizers are not fully absorbed by the plants. They get washed away due to irrigation or rain. This excessive use of fertilizer leads to water pollution. The continuous use of fertilizers destroys the soil fertility because the organic matter in the soil is not replenished and microorganisms in the soil are harmed by the fertilizers used. For this reason, chemical fertilizers are replaced with biofertilizers. Biofertilizers are made with the help of biological agents like blue-green algae. Even for grain storage, neem, leaves or turmeric are used as pesticides. These biofertilizers help to maintain the soil fertility. Irrigation The crop production in India is mainly dependent on timely monsoon and required rainfall. When the crop gets water at the right time of the growing stage, the yield of the crop increases. The various methods of irrigation, wells, canals, river lift system, tanks. Wells. There are two types of wells, dug wells and tube wells. In a dug well, water is collected from water bearing strata. Tube wells can trap water from the deeper strata. Water is lifted from wells by pumps for irrigation. Canals receive water reservoir or the rivers. The main canal is divided into branch canals which are further divided into distributaries to irrigate fields. River lift system. River lift system is used in the areas close to rivers where canal flow is insufficient due to inadequate reservoir release. In this system, water is directly drawn from the rivers for irrigation. Tanks. 
These are small storage reservoirs which store the runoff water. Nowadays, some attempts are done to increase the water availability, such as rainwater harvesting. It includes building small check dams, which lead to increase in groundwater levels and reduce the soil erosion. Cropping pattern. There are different ways of growing crops to get maximum benefit. These are Mixed cropping is growing two or more crops simultaneously on the same piece of land. For example, wheat plus gram or groundnut plus sunflower. This reduces the risk and gives some insurance against failure of one of the crops. Intercropping is growing two or more crops simultaneously on the same field with a few rows of one crop alternate with a few rows of a second crop. For example, soya bean plus maize or finger millet plus cow pea. The crops are selected such that their nutrient requirements are different. It ensures maximum utilization of the nutrients supplied and also prevents pests and diseases from spreading one crop to another crop in the field. Crop rotation is growing of different crops on a piece of land in a pre-planned succession. Depending upon the duration, crop rotation is done for different combinations. The choice of the crop depends upon the availability of moisture and irrigation. If crop rotation is done properly, then three or four crops can be grown in air with good yield. <music>